a half euro USD and like I said the Fibonacci trace retracement the Fibonacci retracement hold is always good to use when you're trading uh, trending market right so a turn of case where you're having higher highs and higher lows right so in that case you always like to use them from the swing low to the swing high so here right here I'm going to take my Fibonacci toe here and you see I'll have it from this swing low right here from this swing low swing low right here right to this swing high now you you might still have the default one so the purpose of this video is to help you configure your Fibonacci toe so what you will do here is you just need to come right here when you highlight on this Fibonacci toe you come to your settings here on your settings I will want you to post this video post this video and do a screenshot of everything you see here do a screenshot of everything you see here these are the only stuff you need to highlight so this one that I've highlighted you have 0, 0, 0 0.5, 0, 0.75, 0 here and you highlight this one that is just all you need and then after you're done with it you make sure you have this levels here click this level here click and then you click ok so once again I want you to screenshot this right screenshot you can pause the video for now pause the video and then you make sure you have these figures correct when you have this video, uh, figures correct, you come here, you just highlight these levels and text and then you click on OK. Now, I'm going to tell you the importance of this level. Now, we are in an uptrend market and what you can see here is at this level, we have, a, we have a break of structure here. We have a break of structure here where I'm highlighting now, I have a break of structure here. So this break of structure, you see that it is actually below 50%. Now, note, everything, everything below 50% down here is what we call discount right and everything above 50 percent is called premium now note when you are looking for buying opportunities it's always advisable to take your fibonacci toe from the lot from the swing low to the swing high and then when you are looking for a selling opportunity you take it from the swing high to the swing low i repeat again whenever you are looking in a, in a buy opportunity or whenever the market is trending to the upside it is always advisable to take your fibonacci levels from the swing low to the swing high and when you are looking for selling opportunity, when the market is trending to the downside, you are taking your toes from the swing high to the swing low. Like for instance, here I'm going to remove this and I'm taking from this swing high right to this swing low. And what you see is, you see this other side is on the upside. So now, since we are on the uptrend and we are looking at the discount level, I'm going to take it from this swing low, swing low right here, swing low right here to this swing high. Now note, everything here is called a discount level, right? Everything here is called a discount level. So you see these numbers here? This box here, this box you see here is the golden box. That means at this level, this is where it is advisable to start looking for your buying opportunities. And on these buying opportunities, you, you need to come to this side to identify the other block that happened before a fair value gap. And what we can see the other block that happened before the fair value gap, we can see that it is, act, it, it is either sleeping sleeping on 7, 7, 8, 78.60 to 88, right? So if you are taking your entry, if you are placing your pending orders, you will be advisable to place them here. And you have your stop loss just below below this swing low here. And then you will be targeting this upside for your TP. So that is how you need to adjust your Fibonacci toes. And if you want to start trading with the Fibonacci levels, or using Fibonacci uh, toes to trade your levels. And this also, you can also help you to identify discount areas and premium areas in the market, right? So this is the example that happened. I'll give you another example here. You will see everything right here. You have this level right here. We have, this is the swing high. We have swing high. We have swing low, right? So what am I going to do? Let me take this out. I take my Fibonacci toe from this swing low here because I'm looking for buy opportunity to this swing high. And you will see, like I said, everything below 50% is discount. You see the way price, so at discount prices, it is advisable to buy and at premium prices, it's advisable to sell. So look at what price did when it tapped into that discount level. When price first tapped into that discount level, what happened? It displaced to the upside, creating an other block here or a fair value gap. So this is where now you are supposed to put your entry because you want to see price action on either a discount or a premium zone. So when price tapped onto this discount level, it rejected back inside, displaced and formed a fair value gap. So this level has been highlighted. So I know for sure that this right here, this right here was 50% of my level. So I'm going to highlight that and then I will take out the Fibonacci tool and know and see what happened when price got to 50%. When price tap on 50%, it retraced, it pushed to the upside. This will call change in the state of delivery, leaving behind a fair value gap. So everything here now is an order block, right? Everything here now is an order block. 
the low of that level now will be where i'm placing my stop loss and then I'll be, I'll be attacking the next level for my tp so here i have my entry here my entry here for this other block and then this low here after after price uh, gave us that fair value gap and then tp will be right above here good so this one here you're easy going for a simple one is to theory risk to reward before actually going to the upside now to have a bigger picture of your tp you need to go to the higher time to see where this guy is actually pushing to and then you can actually go for more tps so this is how you could have been able to use this um fibonacci tool to catch your entries again from the swing low to the swing high everything below 50% is discount. So you want to see how price action will react on that discount level. So you see below 50%, this level was acting like an order block and it was rejected. And ever since price happened to the price tap on that 50%, it rejected and pushed back to the upside. So all you need to do is make sure you have these levels recorded on your screen, on your, on your Fibonacci settings. Once more, what you need to do again, when your Fibonacci level is being highlighted like this, you click on the Fibonacci levels and you tap on settings you come you highlight all of these areas and then you adjust and then you click ok exactly you have yours looking like mine if yours is not looking like mine that means there is a problem in your settings your settings need to be exactly as clean as this you have above here is discount premium sorry below here is discount when you're looking for selling opportunities you take from the swing high to the swing low when you're looking for buying opportunities you take from the swing low to the swing high that is that and i will see you on the next video